Good morning, friends. My name is Miss Bridget and welcome to Preschool Storytime right here on the Swickley Public Library YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, before we get started, you know the deal, but I have to remind you what's happening on this channel all week long. On Tuesdays, we have babies and books. On Wednesdays, we have stories for twos and threes. On Thursdays, you're with me at Preschool Storytime, and on Fridays, we have Family Storytime. And as always, you can find all those videos at 9.30 a.m. on our YouTube channel. Let's warm our hands up to sing our hello song. And since it's December, we are going to sing hello snow today. We got some snow outside. It's been snowing for a couple days now. So the way we sign snow is we put our hands up like this and then we're going to twinkle our fingers and bring them down and that's snow. Practice it one more time. Snow. We'll sing it on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Hello snow. Hello snow. Hello snow. It's time to say hello snow. That was excellent. Can we sing it one more time a little bit faster? Warm those hands up. Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Hello, snow. Hello, snow. Hello, snow. It's time to say hello, snow. That was excellent. Now that I've said hello to you and you've said hello to me, how about we get started with the story? My friends, this week all of our stories are about trying new things. So I brought a story about a little crab who's a little nervous about going into the great big sea. This is called Don't Worry Little Crab by Chris Houghton. And I would like to thank Candlewick Press for their permission to read it to you today. Little crab and very big crab lived in a tiny tide pool. Today, they're off to the ocean. This is going to be so great, said little crab. They go tick a tack, tick a tack, tick a tack over the rocks and splish splash, splish splash over the pools and squelch, squelch, squelch through the slimy seaweed. I can go anywhere, said Little Crab. Finally, they got to the very edge. Here we are, said Very Big Crab. <gasps> the ocean! Oh, said Little Crab. <gasps> Maybe it's better if we don't go in the ocean, says Little Crab. Don't worry, said Very Big Crab. It will be okay. But the waves are getting bigger. Look, a huge wave. Hang on tight. Here it comes. <gasps> Whoosh. Oh, have you ever been to the beach and been hit by a big wave? It can be a little scary sometimes. I think we've had enough of the ocean for today, says Little Crab. Let's just go a little bit farther, says Very Big Crab. I think you'll like it. But the waves kept getting bigger and bigger. Another one, hold tight, here it comes. Here comes another wave. Whoosh! It's even bigger than the last one. I don't think I like the ocean, says Little Crab. Maybe we should go home. Don't worry, Little Crab, says Very Big Crab. I'm here. Come on, just a few more steps. Little Crab takes a step and then another. <gasps> He's almost there until... says Little Crab. Yes, just a bit in the ocean. And then they see an enormous wave. Uh-oh. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Ready? Asks Very Big Crab. They take a deep breath. <gasps> Here it comes. Whoosh! in. Oh, down, down, down they go. Oh, how far down? Look, little crab. Oh, look at the reef. Isn't it amazing? Wow. 
everyone comes to say hello. My name is Little Crab, says Little Crab. They eat delicious seaweed and they run all across the sea floor and they play a giant game of hide and seek. ocean, says Little Crab. Yes, but it's time to go home now, says Very Big Crab. Aww. What? I really don't want to go home, says Little Crab. <gasps> How about we go the long way home, says Very Big Crab. Can we go this way, says Little Crab? I think we can go anywhere, says Very Big Crab. And off they went. And that is the end of Don't Worry Little Crab. Well, that was excellent, my friends. I hope you enjoyed that story about learning new things just as much as I did. Now, I think we should all stand up to sing my favorite song, Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. Now we climb if you want to take a trip. Climb inside my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. Get down way low. Here we go from five, five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Can we try it a little bit faster? Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. If you want to take a trip, climb inside my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. Get down way low. Here we go from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off. It's time for us to have a seat. Here we go. Everybody have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Everybody have a seat on the rug. Not on the ceiling, not on a bug. Everybody have a seat on the rug. Not on the ceiling, not on a bug. Everybody have a seat on the rug. Are we all sitting? Are we all ready for another story? Our next story is Jabari Tries. Now, I love the Jabari books. There's another book called Jabari Jumps, which is more of a summer book because he's at the pool. But I like this one because he's building and I really like to build. I know some of you like to build too. This is Jabari Tries by Gaia Cornwall and I would like to thank Candlewick Press for their permission to read it to you today. Jabari tries. I'm making a flying machine today, Jabari told his dad. Wow, said his dad. Me, says Nakia. My machine will fly all the way across the yard, said Jabari. It'll be easy. I don't need any help. Hmm. Jabari built an excellent ramp. He put his flying machine at the very top. Whoosh, around, up it went and crash. Oh no, his machine did not fly. Maybe it's too heavy, said Jabari. Me, said Nakia. Not now, said Nakia. I'm concentrating. I need something to make my machine go up. Hmm. He thought about how inventors use their creativity and how engineers and scientists work to solve problems. He thought about Lewis Howard Latimer and Dr. Flossie Wong Stahl and Ray Aletta and Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson. Hmm, what would they do? Jabari gathered up all his tools. He prepared his space. Hmm. I think the ramp needs to be big, really big, Jabari said. 
Oh, that is a big ramp. Do you see how big that is? After a lot of building and stacking and hammering and sticking, Jabari was ready. He let go and zip, flip, swoosh, around, up, and smash. Oh no, it still didn't go. You know, I bet Nakia would love to help out, said Dad. Jabari looked at Nakia. I don't need any help he said. What if you thought of her more like a partner? He said. Lots of great inventors had partners. Me, said Nakia. <sighs> we'll try it out, said Jabari. Maybe we need more power, Nakia, said Jabari. The engineers measured and mixed. Hmm, me, said Nakia. Jabari handed his partner the stirring tool. They poured in, it looks like some baking soda and vinegar. Trickle, pour, twist, turn, bubble, pop, fizz, and pop. Oh, maybe this time. Bash. Nothing is working. His chest felt tight and his neck felt like a sunburn and Jabari wanted to cry. Have you ever been so frustrated by something not working that you want to cry? I know I have, it's not a nice feeling. He took a tiny rest. Hey, his dad said, I see you're really upset. I'm frustrated, said Jabari. It looks like a frustrating problem, said his dad. When I'm frustrated, I gather up all my patience, take a deep breath, and blow away all the mixed up feelings inside. And then you try again, said Jabari. And then I try again, said his dad. Hmm, I wonder if that might work. Jabari gathered up all his patience. Let's do this with Jabari. He closed his eyes. He took a deep breath, take a deep breath. <sighs> he blew away all his muddy feelings and he felt his body calm down. He felt his brain starting to work better. Nakia squeezed his hand. Let's try again, said Jabari. The partners thought and thought together. Me said Nakia. That's it, maybe we need better wings, said Jabari. They cut and glued and tied, tinker, twist, snap, snip. Oh, it looks like they put wings on the flying machine. Nakia found a launch spot. Jabari held the flying machine up, pulled back and whoosh up. Whee, said Nakia. Flying! You did it, said his dad. We did it, said Jabari. It went all the way across the yard. We are great engineers. We, said Nikki. And guess what, said Jabari. What, said his dad. Rocket to Jupiter is next. Me said Nakia. And look, she was already in her space suit. That's so perfect. And that is the end of Jabari Tribe. Well, my friends, thank you so much for joining me for preschool story time today. I'll be back next week with more stories for you all. Now let's warm our hands up to saying goodbye, friends, today. We're not saying goodbye, snow, because the snow will be here for a very long time. Here we go. One, two, three. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye, friends. All right, friends, I hope you enjoy the snow outside and maybe try something new this week. Have an excellent day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.